Sweden, the freedom to roam is as much a part of the culture as generous parental leave, IKEA, and pickled herring. The constitutional right allows everyone, even me, a visitor from the States, access to most private and public lands, with a few exceptions. With 97% of the Scandinavian country uninhabited, there is a lot of room to roam. To introduce more people to the act of roaming, Visit Sweden, the country's tourism office, created a program called Edible Country. This is how it works. First, I booked a seat at a picnic table in Småland, a southern province, in Swedish Lapland up north, two of the 13 edible locations. Then I picked, plucked, and baited the ingredients. In Swedish Lapland, we tried to catch Arctic char and trout in the country's deepest lake, but the fish weren't biting. Thankfully, the couple who run the program brought some fillets from home to smoke and fry. We took turns rolling, flattening, and forking holes in the dough for flat bread baked over an open fire. When the wind blew to shore, I warmed myself with a blanket and several pieces of bread. In Småland, our foraging party collected salad ingredients along a country road. Instead of traditional lettuces, we gathered yarrow, lucerne, fur tips, and clover that added a pop of purple to our first course. In the pine forest, we all pitched in with the prep work. We chopped juniper berries, extricated hazelnuts, and diced bread that Chef Pontus fried and served in the salad. Chef Pontus whipped up an elegant three-course meal, including juniper-smoked pike, homemade caramel over berries, and fried hazelnuts with minimal cooking equipment, basically a fire and a gas camping stove. With the Edible Country program, I could have prepared the meal myself, but I decided to hire a chef and foraging expert. I didn't want to end up in the country's universal healthcare system. <laughs> <laughs> 